and video sharing site Rumble, the, the, the tune reaching number one on iTunes, beating out many successful artists such as Lizzo, Billie Eilish, and Kate Bush. Joining me now is the, the successful country singer himself, John Rich. He's also the host of Fox Business's The Pursuit with John Rich. John, it's great to see you. So, uh, listen, I like it too. I love your song. This is, this is awesome. My wife came home after Fox and Friends and said, you got to listen to this song from John Rich and played it for me. It, it was an instant hit in our house. How long does it take a guy like you to sit down and write a song like that? This song came pretty quick because there was a lot of inspiration for this song sitting everywhere. Um, you know, I, it dawned on me how ironic it was that all the negative things that are happening in our country are being done under the banner of the word progress or progressive. And, and I looked at that, I went, this is anything but progress. This is anything but progressive. This is, this is the opposite of that. And I saw a poll that came out in early July that said 88% of Americans agreed that America was on the wrong track. And I thought, wow, that's a pretty big deal to get 88% of Americans to agree on anything, but I would be one of those 88%. So I put the song out. It's a straight ahead little three, you know, three minute country song. It kicks off with a fiddle. Uh, and yes, I use True Social and Rumble. I did not use YouTube, Twitter, or Facebook because part of the song says they shut down our voices. And who I mean by them are those big platforms that have turned off so many people's voices over the past couple of years. And even so, even just using uh, Truth and Rumble, it was number one within six hours, and it remains number one at this very second. It's pretty incredible. It's amazing. I don't know the industry, uh, music industry like you do. The, is it odd that you can go around all of the executives and distributors of music that you always use to get your music out and go directly to the people and in six hours have a number one hit? That seems kind of odd. <laughs> Yeah, I call it beating the machine because right. that's what it is. You're up against a really big, powerful machine. Yeah. But if you've got the right music, you got the right content, you can get directly to the people. That's what this song did. And then the people just ran with it. You know, the song's not number one because I'm singing it. It's number one because of what it says. And if I still was a part of the music industry, if I still had a big record deal or something like that, you would have never heard this song. They would right. never allow a song like this to come out. So I'm glad to be totally independent. It's the freest I've ever been as a singer songwriter. And now you look up and the, the thing is the number one most downloaded song in all of America. It's amazing. And you know what I think that you know, so many of these liberals, whether it's in music in Nashville or, or the movie makers in Hollywood, they forget that half of America is absolutely in disagreement with them. And if they would make some products that some of us actually liked, music and movies, they would make a ton of money but they seem so hell-bent on their progressive ideology and forcing it down our throats. A guy like you comes out and puts out a song that kind of channels our frustration and, and people buy it. Were you, you, you put it out. Were you, were you shocked that it was this successful and resonated this much in such a short period of time? Absolutely, completely shocked. You know, uh, we saw Top Gun, uh, the new Top Gun came out, one of the biggest movies ever, and it was similar. It was just pro-America celebrating our greatness in this country and our military. And so this song, I think, just points out in a really simple way the things that we don't like, that that 88 percent in that poll don't like that's going on in this country right now. And I think this little song, Progress, gives everybody uh, a way to just hit the play button and uh, play that in their car at the house and just kind of get it out of their system yeah. for a minute. And I'm really proud of what the song's doing. You know, it's kind of like, for me, it reminds me of the Aaron Lewis song from, you know, the last 4th of July, Am I the Only One? And another great song that channeled a lot of anger and frustration. So I'm watching the video right now. Obviously, you, you had someone, you know, film you out there with your country hat and, and guitar. Uh, how long does that take to put a video together to match the music? Did you turn that around pretty quick? Yeah, this was a really simple process. You know, the video, you can go find it on Rumble, go check it out. What I wanted to do was show their version of progress and then show my version of progress and I put those it. pictures right next to each other and show the drastic differences between the two. Uh, listen, this country, it's in a bad spot right now, but I believe that our country and, and the principles it's founded on and its people will outlive the nonsense that we're living through right now. We got a rough ride ahead, but I think we're gonna we be all right at the end of the day. And that's what this song uh, highlights. You know what it shows that, you know, a song like this is so successful, the American heart is in the right place. And, and you got videos with country roads, farm fields, and American flags. What could be wrong with that? John Rich, you are a great American, a great artist, and thanks for joining us and congratulations on the song. Appreciate it.